two of my favorite things, flowers and goals. Yes, please. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Jen. Today we are unboxing the June edition of the Jane's Agenda Deluxe Sub Box. And today I am going to give you my true first impressions because unlike my usual, I have not unwrapped everything yet because I, well, first of all, to be honest, because of time, but second of all, when I did open this box, it was packaged so beautifully. I just felt like it was about time I showed you how gorgeous they pack this. So we're going to open up the box. We're going to look at how gorgeously they've put it together. And then I will go off camera, take things out of the plastic so you don't have to listen to all that. And we will dig right in. So I do want to tell you that I am a Jane's Agenda affiliate, proudly so. So my affiliate link is down in the description box. And if you shop that link, I will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. I do also have a savings code that you can use for your first purchase with the Jane's Agenda, which is planning gold. However, the sub box is excluded. All right, let's look in this beautiful box. Okay, so we have our tour card on top, as we always do. And this one says, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it says, this June, elevate your routine with a subscription box filled with vibrant florals, sophisticated patterns, and practical inserts designed to simplify goals and habit formation. Two of my favorite things, flowers and goals. Yes, please. <laughs> and then look at how pretty. So... If you have gotten the box for a while, or maybe if you've seen other unboxings, this beautiful Jane's Agenda tissue paper has been part of our box for a while. I feel like this sticker is new though. It's really pretty. And, oh, I'm gonna rip it. Oh goodness, let's see. I'm like everyone, no one wants to rip it, right? Oh, I ripped it, that's okay. All right, and then look at this. So I'm really excited about this item and we will be taking a look and look at all the goodies. Oh my goodness. <gasps> what? Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let me take everything out and we're going to get looking at everything because I'm too excited. So first of all, we do very often get this accessory pack and we have all these fun goodies in this little bag. So let's pull it out and look at them one by one. First of all, we always get a thank you card. Ooh, this one is really pretty. I love it. It says June 2024. I can't believe we're going to be going into June. I still can't believe it's May. Um, and yes, and we get the QR code on the back and you can get free uh, wallpapers that uh, match the theme of the box. <laughs> like I've told you, I always forget to do it, but I encourage you to do it. Then... We have some quote cards. Ooh, we have three this time. They're really pretty. So we have Goal Getter on the Loose. Love that. Too Busy Blooming to Notice Your Weeds. <laughs> That's fun. Watch Me Turn Can't into Can and Dreams into Plans. Oh, I love that. And I like how we got a different shaped one this time. Really fun. We also got a couple clips here. So um, a little black spiral and a rose gold spiral. So the, those are cool. Love having extra clips around. And we got a pen. So let me look at the tour card. Okay. It just says pen. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can tell what it is. My eyes are bad, you guys. Huh. There is an engraving on there, but I cannot really read it in this lighting. Let's try it out, shall we? Let me grab a sticky note. All right. So let's take a look at this. Ooh, I like the way it writes. 
Ooh, and it's nice and black. Oh, I like this pen. Um, yeah. So a lot of times um, there'll be additional details about the items on the website. Sometimes we also get it sent in an email. So um, hopefully I'll be able to tell you more about this pen or you'll be able to read more uh, because I'm not really sure of the details about it. But um, yeah, cool. <clears throat> I, I really like the way it writes. Um, it's kind of a fatter barrel, so it may not fit in every pen loop, but uh, probably would fit in the pen loop in the wrap cover because that one seems very accommodating. Nice, nice how it writes. I like that a lot. Okay. Um, oh man, I'm in love with this. So we have a sticky note set here, but I did forget to say, uh, if you're new around here, that the Jane's Agenda sub box comes in three versions, the monthly cover club, the lifestyle edition, uh, the lifestyle planner subscription, and the deluxe box, which includes both of those boxes. So I do get the deluxe box. I get it in the junior size, which is disc punched for a half letter planner. And <clears throat> I do always unbox first the items that you would receive in the lifestyle uh, subscription box and then I save the monthly cover club for the end so um, just so you know so right now the items we're looking at you would receive either in the lifestyle subscription or the deluxe box so this is a three-piece sticky note set I am obsessed with this this is beautiful um, and I bet this would be fun to write on with white ink. <clears throat> um, this is super cute. Love that. I love tortoise shell. So that's so pretty. And then we have like a, like a dusky mauve or a, a pale purple. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Love it. Love sticky notes. How about you guys? Do you have a sticky note obsession? Because I certainly do. And I tend, even though I think the transparent sticky notes are beautiful. I tend to prefer paper just so you can write on it with any pen. So I'm always excited when we get these sticky notes. We've gotten lots of great sticky notes in the sub box over the years. Okay, so now we have a decorative dashboard set of four. And <clears throat> we have a beautiful vellum. Done is better than perfect. I love it because frankly... My motto lately is good enough is good enough. My perfectionism is my toxic trait, folks. It's holding me back from lots of things in my life, I'm starting to realize. And I really love this. And if you guys don't know, Jane's Agenda has a Master Plan 365 uh, program going on. It's totally free. And the only thing that you would pay for is if you want the inserts they created, like, that are basically like a study guide. I'm late to the game. I've started watching the videos and that's how Jane designed it, that you can fully participate. You can partly participate. I am still contending with a bit of grief and just kind of being very gentle with my goal setting this year so far. So I've kind of been watching it when it feels good to me to watch it, but really great information. So I highly recommend it. And a lot of talk about time management productivity, things like that. So I think that's why we're seeing some of that flowing into this box. So beautiful. Um, and then we have a zebra. Um, so it looks like the eye of the zebra. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, that's pretty, like a very pretty kind of pinky purple marbling uh, with some gold, but it's not uh, foiled or anything like that. It's just a part of the picture, but really pretty. <clears throat> Ooh, and then, yes, my florals, my florals, my friends, really beautiful tulips. Um, and it's the, they are the same on each side, which is my preference. So very, very cool. Love that. And let's look at, well, while we're here, let's look at the vellum over each. Oh, that's pretty. <clears throat> I like that. Well, that looks nice too. And that's cute as well. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a fun month setting up my planner. If you don't know, I set up my half letter planner every single month. Um, I have a whole playlist and um, the one will be coming up soon. So I'll say it now. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate it when you do that. And if you're enjoying my content, maybe you'd consider subscribing. 
hit that notification bell, uh, turn it to all, and you'll be notified when my half litter setup comes out. But also, you guys, I am so, 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 so close to a thousand subscribers. So if you're enjoying my content, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe and help my YouTube dreams come true. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. We've got two sets of inserts this month. They're always so generous with the inserts. We have monthly habit tracker inserts and goals worksheet inserts. So let's look at the monthly habit trackers first. And Jane gave us a little insight that if we're seeing this uh, skew on the front, that means these inserts are coming to the shop. So even if you're not a subscriber, uh, you can still get these inserts in the future. Usually we're getting them first as subscribers. Oh, they're pretty. Okay, so we have Habit Tracker, um, January through December, and the Habit, and then 1 through 31. So you, I assume what it's meant to be is you would circle the month that you're in. Um, obviously, however many days of the month, maybe you could, you know, either gray it out if there's only 30 days in the month or maybe you don't care and then you would track your habits now i have been quite transparent in that i stink stink to high heaven <laughs> with habit trackers but they are certainly good to have it's not that i don't see the value in them i absolutely do but i just tend never to follow through with them now it's really funny because the style of inserts that I really enjoy for wellness planning are basically a blown out habit tracker. And I love that. And I usually will use that. But when it comes to coming back and ticking off that I did it, not always very good about it. But, but great, but great inserts, but great inserts. I just, I want to be 100 with you. I have to. <laughs> and plus, like I said, taking a very gentle approach to goal setting this year, even though I'm still working on my goals, but just being, just being really gentle with myself because, um, I'm contending with a lot right now and that's, that's okay. Okay. And then we have our goals worksheets. So hooray. I'm excited to see these. Let's see it. Okay. So we very often do get a page of explanation and it looks like that's what we have here. From vision to victory, utilizing the goals worksheet. And we have some steps and an example. So I do appreciate it when they give us that. Um, so I'll kind of, I don't know if I'll read all of this, but I'll kind of give you the, the quick rundown. Uh, start with the overall goal you want to achieve. Create an identity for the type of person who would complete the goal. Work backward. Break the goal down into projects. Strategy outline. Keep in mind how you'll measure the goal. Take these projects and break them down into individual tasks. Once you have your task list, schedule them in your planner. This will ensure you have time designated to achieve your goals. At the bottom, write down any resources you may need to complete the goal. For goals too big for one sheet, break them into smaller mini goals. So love that. Really love that. And look at that. I did read it all to you. Um, and yes, love the idea of breaking goals down. And I have to say that one of the greatest ways that Jane has influenced me is that I've gotten a lot better about scheduling my tasks in because I've always had a hesitation around that. And so I would make a list of the tasks and like say, I'm going to do them in this week and put them into my weekly um, planning. But I often wouldn't like say, I'm going to do it on Monday at noon. Like I could never get myself to commit because then what if I couldn't do it then? And I've really realized, yes, going back to that perfectionism, if I don't get to do it at Monday at noon, I can move it. So it has helped me to recognize that scheduling it makes it more likely that it's going to get done. And I thank you, Jane. Thank you for that. Um, and so it looks like we have on the actual insert goal worksheet, goal identity, specifics and deadline, strategy outline, 
resources needed, which I love that because that's really important. You know, that might be money. That might be tools like, you know, if you have a goal to run a 5K, well, you're going to need sneakers. Maybe you need a water bottle. Maybe you need comfortable clothes to run in. You know, that's just an example. But I love that because, you know, if you don't map that out, then you might say like, I'm going to start running tomorrow. And then you run in some terrible shoes and now you have shin splints. I don't know, making it up, but you get the idea. So I really like that. And looks like she kind of really maps us out a good example. So that's really cool. And you, you get a good number of these. Oh, and then on the back, we have reflections. Oh, another thing I'm not very good at, but do want to be better at because I do really know that's important. And we have our wins, what went well, and opportunities where to improve. I'd say my only wish is I wish there was lines. I really, I'm a lines girl. I need to write on lines. Does this mean I won't use it? No, of course not. And that's not everyone's preference. I totally get that. That's just my preference. But we got lots of lines here. So I'm a happy girl. These are cool. Yes, I really, really like these. I think these will be going in my planner. Yes, ma'am. All right. And we have one more item from the lifestyle box. So let me grab that. Okay. I almost can't fit it all under um, my camera here, but I love this bag. Oh, I'm excited. Well, first of all, I love tote bags. Who doesn't? Well, maybe you don't. Let me know. Comment below. But I do. Um, and this one has a big pocket here. Love the Jane's Agenda logo, of course. Um, it's a canvas, maybe? Canvas material. So, so great for the summer. Nice, just very big open pocket. Oh, it has a zipper. <gasps> nice. I know Jane said that she carried hers around go wild and it worked out really great for her and i could see that because it's big and it's a nice lightweight bag so it's not gonna make it really heavy as you put all your goodies in there so yay and i'll show you the back just sweet oops we got um just lots of black and white stripes or like black and cream and yeah so and um black handles Love that. Love that. A while back, we received um, a different tote bag, and that has been my work bag. Frankly, it has held up so nicely. It's the same deal where it's nice and lightweight. It has a big pocket in the front. It's been perfect. That's That one is going to stay in my work bag. I think this is going to be a summer fun bag, maybe a planner conference bag if I can finally get to one. I'm really hoping Bing to go to the Chicago Planner Conference, but we shall see. Now we are going to dig into the monthly cover club items. So first of all, we do always get a page flag. We had gotten a tortoise page flag a while back, but I feel like this one is a little different. And um, it does have a coating on the back, so we could pull that off. And so I guess that's the front. Um, I'm not sure, actually because it's kind of like matte on this side and shiny on this side. I suppose you could use it either way, although I can see this is the top. So I guess the matte side is meant to be the top tab, unless you decide to use it as a bottom tab, and then you could, um, you know, turn it. Oh, actually, yeah, then you would turn it. So yeah, so um, really pretty. I love tortoise shell. Um, yeah, very cool. Then we have dashboards because we also will have a cover. Ooh, these are pretty, pretty, pretty. So like a bright pinky purple. Um, I ordered them, but they haven't come yet. So I can't show them to you today. I'm hoping I'm going to have them soon before I set up my planner. But I did order the two inch berry discs when I saw this box, I thought they would look great with this. I wanted those discs anyway. Frankly, they're so pretty. So yeah, and these um, this are the same on each side, which I, as I said, I really love. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful dashboards this month. Oh, 
All right. So um, there's a little note on here. I received two of these. I thought maybe it was a mistake, but what they're saying on here is that the page finder included is not as durable as we would like. We are also giving you a laminated one just in case. And, you know, Jane and her team, they care so much about quality. And, um, oh yeah, I see, cute. Because the laminated items, I believe, they make in shop. These clear items they order and bring into the shop. So I can see how this is kind of more flexible. Um, but I don't particularly mind that. So, hey, we got two and that's really cool. I do like the thinner width on this one a little better, but they're both pretty. So, yeah, very, very cool. And here are our covers. So we have like a, the look of a book page um, and we have two sides and these are clear. So usually there is a laminate like a coating on the back. Yes, there is here. I'll pull it off this one for now. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So then what we like to do here is check out this front cover with all the different dashboards and see how it looks. So let's see, we've got this combination. Let me line up the punches. Ooh, that's pretty. Very nice. Oh, I really like that. Okay, let's line up this one. That is pretty as well, though I have to say with the dark background, you do lose a lot of the look of the writing here. I mean, you'll see it on the edge here, um, but I'm not sure I like that as much, but it's very pretty. I do like it. Okay, let me grab the other dashboards. Okay. Um... Yeah, not I, that's not really doing it for me. What do you think? I don't think I like that combo so much. Mm, I mean, this is okay, but also maybe not my preference. But I love those dashboards. I just think I'll use them within my planner. And that's cute, but also maybe not as much so my favorite yeah um oh goodness you guys this is a good box this is a good box <laughs> yeah uh, but i say that every time don't i okay guys that is the june edition of the jane's agenda deluxe sub box i love it shocker how do you feel about it let me hear your thoughts comment below hit that like button and please please consider subscribing that quite frankly would really make my day <laughs> and thank you as always for being here you guys i love this community so so much you guys mean so much to me uh, and if you would like to see the setup of last month's half letter planner and how I used all the items from last month's sub box, I will link it for you here. And if you would like to see the unboxing of last month's subscription box, I will link it for you here. And that is going to do it for this one, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.